Hi, I'm Gretchen with Classy Fitness. Thank you so much for taking this time to join me for a few moments. It is a beautiful afternoon. I'm sitting here outside. The grill is going. The smell is amazing. I've got my beer in hand. And I have still got condiments on the mind. Is it just me? But I know that this past week we've been looking at a couple condiments and seeing whether or not the homemade version really stacks up to what you could buy in the store. And so I know that we had looked at some of the condiments that are actually really good for you that are on the like good boy condiment list. You know, we had looked at pesto and hummus and salsa, all big wins in the condiment arena. But as we've got the brats going tonight, it got me thinking of some of the bad boys. You know what I'm talking about. Those condiments that really none of us should be eating. <laughs> I mean, granted, like it's not going to kill you tomorrow. But when we're looking at improving our overall health, probably things that we should start looking at as well. So I decided to check out what some of the worst condiments were for us and see which ones we use in our household. And you ever get that information that you wish you never had? Yeah, <laughs> that was me today. So here are some of the worst condiments out there. Now, when we're labeling condiments as worst, it's not strictly a calorie count. A lot of these condiments might actually be low, fairly or relatively low in calories, but we're looking at the other stuff. We're looking at, for instance, their sodium content, the hidden sugars, the artificial ingredients you know a lot of these even have really really nasty stuff like the bovine like the growth hormones msg food dyes high fructose corn syrup like stuff that none of us want in our bodies and especially not in our kids bodies so let's look at some of these bad boys and we'll talk a little bit about what we can do to replace them so soy sauce Ugh ketchup which is so hard for our house um, agave nectar you know that's a good one that's touted as being really healthy but it's really not barbecue sauce um, sweet relish which is gonna be hard tonight because we're having brats um, mayonnaise light salad dressing a lot of folks also like to throw like sour cream ranch dressing blue cheese dressing in there just Again, based on all the nasty stuff that goes into them. So I know like right now you're kind of great information, but what's a mom to do when she's got, you know, if you're like me, you got 400, four hungry kids and a husband who like want something on their hot dog. Well, here's a couple of swaps that you can try. First for ketchup, obviously homemade, which I think we're going to have to try making this week. Or swapping in a, a salsa instead. For barbecue sauce, a great alternative is dry rubs. You know, you can make some pretty fantastic dry rubs just right there in your kitchen to get all the flavor that you would in a barbecue sauce, but just not all the calories and hidden gunk. Um, obviously, you can also homemade. I mean, for any of these, homemade is always an option as well. Mayonnaise, if you're not going to do homemade mayonnaise, you can go for Greek yogurt is a great substitute. We always have a tub of Greek yogurt in our in our fridge. I use it for everything. I replace um, sour cream with it. Um, mayonnaise is a good replacement. Well, Greek yogurt replacing your mayonnaise. Um, other replacements for mayonnaise would be like guacamole or hummus would be good ones. And we made those this week. Uh, other ones, ranch dressing, blue cheese dressings, try to avoid them. You know, again, go for your salsa or your hummus when you can. So that was just, I just want to be real quick to, real quick this afternoon and just give you um, just a little more information about condiments. And I think for the, oops, <laughs> the wonders of the outside, I've got this bug flying around my head. Um, as we go forward for this week, I think it's about time that we tackle some of these nasty ones. I think we're going to need to get into the ketchup, the barbecue sauce, and maybe even mayonnaise. Have you ever made homemade mayonnaise? I haven't. Let's give it a try. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you guys joining, and I hope you have a very, very blessed day. Take care.